like the ultimate goal for OnlyFans is just to reach and empower people. I just want to inspire people to bring their family together and, and teach you how to cook at home and try those things that they kind of thought they were kind of scared to try and understand, but now they can because they have a little more confidence because they saw Chef Jojo do it. Beautiful, look at that brown butter, dude. Oh, sexy motherfucker. My name is uh, Joseph Judy, the male name, Judy, uh, Saudi. I started cooking like heavily, about four or five. They're picking grape leaves to make uh, the grape leaves, you know, for, for dad when he got home from work. We had our grandma living with us, it's called Situ in uh, the Lebanese and Arabic language. So Situ and I would just be cooking and prepping, learning how to just, you know, make sure we keep the oil clean, you know, just in the deep fryer. That deep fryer was gold, bro. That, 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 that motherfucker pumped money. And it came to like around 12, 13 years old and understanding that the there's a molecular side of the world and watching how French cuisine took over my brain and I couldn't afford to go to culinary school, right? It's a dope ass street chef dude that taught me everything. I guess you could say started off like selling our food dream was inside that liquor store. So we catered to like everybody that was working on the fields. You know, hot chicken, fries, that's it. A deep fryer, that's all we had. And we were just pumping it out to everybody on lunch, coming in selling like $5 baskets. And then it went to sandwiches and then, uh, you know, wraps. And then we bought our first restaurant and we bought our first steakhouse. The only fans, like what the tools that they give me, the access to reach people that I, I never thought that I could reach. A chef, you know, like, oh, I don't eat pork. Or even like you and your girl, and you guys want to have like a good date night. I want it to be where you can reach me. Cause I'm gonna jump through hurdles for you. You can be a great chef and put make a garnish and make your shit look very cool on a plate, but there's so much more to it. You gotta run a business. You have people to feed and take care of, and you have to know where your money's going. OnlyFans allows me to be myself, 100%. Like, I can be goofy. Can, can anybody hear this? How are you gonna stand out? Because ever this fucking world's filled with so many credential chefs, so many badass chefs, well, be you, bro. All right, fuck it. Yeah, let's do that. If it wasn't for my audience, I wouldn't be here financially stable to be able to be in my uh, zone every single day, I guess you could say, of the food world. You know, and to be able to afford it, because it's, 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 not, it's not cheap. I want you to go inspire other people. I want you to be great yourself. So if I'm having a bad day, you all get in box taquitos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding.